going for event driven service in google cloud and so there are two event driven service which we first one is cloud function and the next is a cloud pub sub so today we are going for cloud function so and let's go to cloud function in this chapter we are going to cover introduction about cloud function and then the dashboards and limitation and language support and where do we use cloud function and some exercise so as we go uh, as the world is moving toward microservice architecture and this is event driven programming is becoming more and more popular to support uh, decoupling event architecture with the Google Cloud service, we have Cloud Function Compute Service. So decoupling and coupling. Coupling means uh, we have architecture. If some system will fail, then we need to start whole systems and all the downstream is coupling tight couple. Decoupling means we divide into very small, small tasks. If any task will fail, then we can restart only that smaller part. Okay. So Cloud function is a lightweight and event based or asynchronous compute solution that allow to create a small single purpose function that respond to the cloud event without need to manage server or runtime environment. Okay, so you, uh, this is keep in mind some keyword you need to remember. It's a very small single purpose function that respond cloud without that need manage a server or runtime environment. Cloud function will charge you for a resource used only during execution time of function. Cloud function are normally used to carry out those tasks which involved via event and also can trigger other services. So dashboard to access the cloud function dashboards open main. So this is Google Cloud. You need to go main menu then compute and cloud function okay so in the compute function name you can provide here name and the reason then there is cloud different kind of trigger based on it can trigger cloud http protocol it can trigger cloud pub sub can trigger uh, cloud storage cloud for fire store google analytics firebase firebase authentication and firebase real-time dashboards okay so these are some trigger event can do so cloud function will do their works and so there is some limitation which we are going for cloud function so some of limitation cloud function you cannot execute tasks that need high memory high memory means more than 4 gb so if your task is taking more than 4 gb you should not use cloud function and if your task is taking more than nine minutes then you should not use cloud function so if you are trying to build a docker file that take more than nine minutes then you your function will probably fail keep these limitation in mind whenever you include cloud function in your architecture so there are various languages cloud function can suppose as a first one is python go java node.js then so so dot net is still it's support beta version so the and okay so now this is very important part where we use cloud function you know we have cloud function we know the limitation and what is doing so let understand the use cases so processing file file upload right so you have an example you have file and user have click and then you want to you, you know want to do some compress then you can use cloud function so whenever user submit the image processing file upload and from that carry out the compressions you can use cloud function once the image is compressed then you can can be stored in cloud storage bucket smaller microservice mobile backend you can write a function to display data from any source or display the list of product on the mobile device on demand video ana analysis like image compression you can also use gcp ml api to analyze video content upload by user okay there are numerous use cases of cloud function. Cloud function are more frequent is almost uh, every decoupled cloud function. So compute following labs gets hand on experience of cloud function. So there is a cloud function exercise which Google will provide us. So let's go to here. I have opened already. I'm going through. So overview against we already gone to here. So 
when cloud function you write a simple pub single purpose function that are attached to event uh, emitted from your cloud infrastructure service you your cloud function is triggered when event being watched or fired your code execute is fully managed environment there there no need to provision any infrastructure or worry about managing any server cloud function can currently be written in java script python and go which i already provide you the you know summary but this is the things you can read connect and extend cloud service so this is cloud service then some emits and this is cloud function so and respond to event back and invoke other service event and trigger some event trigger can have a serverless use case is already i saw and create cloud function so this is the link i will provide into video and you can you know the go to the basic setup which already i said here and this is the same way google cloud cell also you can do and this is the exercise which uh, you can do you guys the next one creating the function one moment so this one is a same function previously i already told so create they have uh, memory allocate trigger type and this is the function name you know see you can write into the you know node js or any language which you want to do like uh, whatever language it supports not any language sorry for okay and test the function you can the test the function the function is ready test the function and enter your the, this tax hello world and test your function now it's print hello world so this is the logs and view the functions clean up resources delete function what is next so please uh, watch my video and uh, please subscribe as well as so in the next uh, coming lecture i'm going to cover cloud pub and sub which is very important part of event driven service of google thank you for watching